Hey pals, welcome to a new feature on the channel. I'm going to call it Valiverse Action Force uh, Covert Customs. We're going to have a look at some of these uh, custom figures I've whipped up using uh, Valiverse figures, taking them apart and putting them back together, swapping parts around in different configurations. That's my favorite thing about this uh, toy line, is that all the parts are interchangeable on the males. They're also all interchangeable on the females, but you're going to get some wacky things happening if you try to mix male and female parts. But over time, I've accumulated some extra figures just for this purpose, having a lot of fun doing this. I think this is, there are 11 to look at so far in this series, and I'm, I'm working on acquiring a lot more extra Action Force figures, so watch this space and stay tuned for that. Uh, but today, we're going to have a look at what I'm calling tentatively uh, Jungle Ops Steel Brigadier. And I'll walk you through what all these different parts are. And I want to be clear, there's no outside parts from other figures or outside accessories. This is all Valiver's Action Force product, just reconfigured. Uh, and so, uh, what have we got here? Well, it is a uh, Delta Trooper upper torso and legs. But then we have a uh, Spec Ops Trooper lower torso. You can see it underneath there. And also Spec Ops Trooper arms and boots. Okay, a little darker than the Delta gear or the Delta Trooper boots. Uh, dusters, gloves, and we have a Steel Brigade helmet from the Steel Brigade gear pack from the Special Deployment Series. Look how well that matches the uh, Delta Trooper colors. It's perfect. And we've got some, as far as the gear goes, uh, well, we've got version 2 Sergeant Slaughter's webbing and backpack. And you'll notice that's a neat contrast with the, the olive drab and the black we've got going on this. It's not all two colors. Uh, we've got some other colors going on here as well. Can I say, I really like this webbing for a lot of reasons. Number one, it allows some great posability at the waist. You can, and, you know, it's good articulation. It lets you uh, really show off the ab crunch the way it's designed. Uh, number two, it snaps on and off very, very easily. It's, it's, you can quickly remove it and put it back on if you need to. And uh, it just looks really cool. I'm, I'm hoping in the future we'll get more webbing in several different colors. So far we've seen this uh, uh, olive drab and the darker brown on the trigger figure. I hope we get more webbing in the future because it's really, really cool. Now, uh, we've rounded off the accessories here with some stuff from the Riot gear pack, like the belt and the uh, holsters and the uh, med pouch, all from the right gear set. Now, the, the arsenal, the weaponry here, is from the uh, Crimson Shadow gear set. This is a Chris Vector with uh, silver uh, highlights on it, molded in black with silver on it. And the I think this is a Maxim 9. Let me pull it out of the holster here. Yeah, you got a, a Maxim 9 with some silver highlights on it as well. So this, for now, I'm calling the... Uh, uh, jungle Ops Steel Brigade, or Steel Brigadier, whatever you want to call it. And I think that this looks pretty cool. This is just one of a uh, hundred thousand combinations you can come up with with all these uh, Action Force parts. These um, these bodies, uh, you know, you put them in hot water or heat them up with a heat gun or with a hair dryer, and it, it becomes quite easy to uh, take off their heads and their arms at the biceps, and of course at the uh, two different points on their torso, and we'll talk about that in a moment, and the boots. Now, not all the figures have boots you can take off, like the uh, Swarm Troopers and the, uh, the Scarabs and the Swarm Sentries. And the Duster and Desert Rat and Trigger figures don't have removable boots like this. Now, I'm sure you can also take them apart here at the thigh, uh, but I can't figure out a good reason to do so, to mix and match to, to that regard. And, again, you do want to heat these up to uh, take it. Now, the hands and the head, you can take it, you can pop off and on without heating them up. But especially with the uh, upper and lower torso, you're, you're going to want to heat those up. And I find it's a lot easier to, depending on how you want to swap parts around, to take them apart either at the upper or lower to torso and leave uh, parts of it together. For example, uh, if I want to remove the upper torso from a figure... I'll hold the legs and pull it apart, and the lower torso will remain with the legs, and I'll put that with whatever figure I'm going to uh, swap it around with. Uh, conversely, if I want to keep the lower torso with the upper torso, I'll hold on to the upper torso while I'm removing it, and it will stay with that. It's hard to get the, the torso bit, the thing in the middle, completely apart 
uh, even when heated up. It's just very, very difficult to get it apart. But one or the other, it works fine, okay? Well, there you go. That's the uh, the Jungle Ops Steel Brigade. And watch this space. We'll have a look at all 11 of these, and then hopefully by the time we've uh, seen all these, I'll have a lot more that we can begin mixing and matching. Now, this is not a permanent configuration. I'm sure I'll change this a dozen times over the course of the days, weeks, months, and years ahead. Uh, but this is this is one way to do it. I hope this springboards others to uh, uh, attempt this with uh, your own action force figures. Now, if you're if you're worried about damaging them doing this again, just heat them up and it's fine. Uh, just don't be heavy-handed with them, okay? Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching, pals, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.